If you're breeding ball pythons or you're considering breeding ball pythons in the future, you've probably asked this question thousands of times. What would be the right combo to mix with your current ball python? In this video, I'm gonna take one of my ball pythons in my collections and probably work with you and see what do you think would be the right combination that can actually breed to that ball python. So it's gonna be fun. In this video, in this one, this one right now, we're gonna talk about what do I breed? Hey YouTube, Ron here from BBM Reptiles. Thank you again for taking the time for joining me on my channel. And if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and follow me along on this incredible journey that I call Reptile Keeping, working specifically with ball pythons. Um, breeding season is one of the most incredible times when you're actually working with ball pythons. But planning a specific combo can get frustrating and I've been guilty of it myself many times when I've asked so many people what would actually work good. And knowing there's morph market and whirlable pythons with the genetic wizard and genetic calculators that actually help you visualize what a future project could be. Um, it's also actually good going through different um, forums like Facebook or Instagram and seeing so many projects that people are working with. And when you have a specific ball python in your collection, then you might find yourself asking what actually should you mix or what you breed with that ball python. That's a real daunting task. But the best thing to do is actually, in my opinion, is starting out with a female, because with that female, you have enough time for that female to grow up, and you can actually work and see different combos and decide what would work good with that. Now, in this video, I have an Orange Dream Fire Spider. Um, that would be a Fire Dream Bee. And I'm just trying to figure out what combos would actually work or what mutation can I actually breed to that female to take the full advantage of the colors and the patterns on the snake. Now, when we're working with spiders, spider, I would say it's a reducing pattern on a gene. It's an alternating pattern actually, when you know and you see regular normal ball pythons when they have their alien heads. Now spider gives that actually webbing um, pattern along the back and it actually um, compresses all that black within those, um, that spider patterning um, webbing side designs. And Orange Dream, obviously Orange Dream is a cleaning gene. It's one of those enhancing genes that so is fire. Um, those combos, when you mix it actually together, you get a real pretty snakes. But what can I actually breed to it to take advantage of those colors and not lose it and actually intensify it even more? Now, let's break it down a little bit. First off, um, like I said, there's three genes in this snake. One is the orange dream and the other one is fire and the other one is spider. So there are certain combos that I cannot include into this combination because I can actually lose what I want to actually gain, either be it pattern or color. For example, um, if I was to actually breed a fire along into this or any gene that or any combo that has fire in it, basically I will get a leucistic snake. And being a leucistic snake, I can actually lose a lot of pattern and a lot of colors in that snake, and hence um, that project wouldn't act actually prosper. So I'd have to find something else that does not include fire. So what other combos could there be? Now the other gene that we have in there is a spider. Now spider, as you know, it actually reduces a lot of the patterns. So any combos that I add onto that, I have to actually make sure that it won't even compress it even more. For example, if I was to put Enchi or if I was to put Pinstripe, anything that has that, again, it would reduce that pattern along the back and actually put it even more. For example, a Spinner Blast is a Pinstripe with Spider and Pastel. And if you can see, for example, how the Pinstripe and Spider actually compresses the patterns on the snake. So that's something else that I can actually work with because that's not what I want. I want to actually take colors 
and patterns along the snakes because those are two combinations that actually um, I would say makes the snake even more enjoyable to see and even more beautiful. So I have to avoid Enchi and I also have to avoid Pinstripe. So knowing that, I have to figure out what can I do to actually make it even more beautiful. So when we're looking at Morph Market or we go through the Genetic Wizard um, on also World of Bull Pythons, we actually can make more combinations and toss in some other ones to see what actually would work with that. Um, bamboo, let me just give you an example with that specific gene. If I was to work or if I was to breathe in the bamboo into this combo specifically, bamboo is such a powerful, overpower, overwhelming gene that it can actually um, dull out the colors. And that's not actually the effect that I'm trying to look at because what I want to do is I want to brighten out and I want to take that full potential of the orange. So that's another thing that I want to make sure that I contain not only the pattern, but I have to make that contrast of the orange and I would love obviously the dark hue of the black. Now, spot nose, spot nose is known to basically richen and darken out the colors. And that could be a combination that's real interesting, but the effect that it might have against spider, again, I might lose most of that pattern. So that's not something that I'm looking for. One combo that with this project that I would love to see in the future, and that's probably one of the reasons why I, um, I started along this road is the super orange dream fire spider yellow belly. If you've seen that snake and I'll basically put the picture and include it into this, it's a beautiful rich orange with this, basically the fire highlighting the darkness of the spider. That is another beautiful combination that I would actually consider working with. And it would actually bring out even more richness of the orange dream and actually clean up the muddiness that sometimes um, a regular orange dream produces. But with that same combo, in the adulthood, most of the snakes basically, they will dull out their colors, even um, to the certain point that obviously um, I would probably lose some of that richness that it has that color. So what would that actually bring me down to a possibility that I would love to work with this specific gene? And I guess I've been actually dragging this out a little bit long, but just think about this. If we want a mutation or if we want a morph included in this combo, what combo or what mutation do you think would actually, um, actually enrich the colors even more? And even as it grows, it actually will not dull out, dull out. In other words, it would actually do the opposite. As it ages, it would actually um, bridge out and bring out even more the color and the hues of the pattern and the mutations. In my opinion, that would have to be the Desert Ghost. Now, we all know how Desert Ghost is a extremely enhancing gene that actually gets better as it ages. And just to give you an idea, a Desert Ghost Bumblebee, if you have seen that, the colors on that is basically, it just pops out. It pops out to the point that basically it takes advantage of what the Desert Ghost does as an enhancing genes and brings out the full benefits of that dark, rich colors of the blacks along it. So in my opinion, something that I would love to actually work in with this female would definitely be Desert Ghost. So knowing that um, the possibilities what the desert ghost can actually do to the colors of the black on the pattern of the ball python from the spider that's one of the projects that i'm actually gearing towards to breed with this female in the future so basically it's going to prove out heads but working towards that line because desert ghost with orange dream and spider and obviously fire we have three different enhancing genes and just to top it off the desert ghost making it even more beautiful. Well, that is my opinion or actually what I think that I'm gonna go um, towards the path with this specific um, project. Um, I would love to know your ideas or your opinion. What do you think besides there's a ghost, what can I actually breed into this snake to actually take potentials of the orange colors and the darkness and the black patterns along the back? Please leave your opinions and um, like I said, it's, it'll actually help me out because in all this and the future breeding projects, all the good ideas actually are real good. And heck, um, it'll give you the chance to actually visualize what do you think 
can work with your projects. And all this, take your time, go into the computer and see what actually works for you and what's appealing actually to you. And um, you'll probably see the beauty that you can actually produce. Okay guys, thank you very much for taking the time. And again, I'll see you in the next video.